In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and subtract negative numbers. And I'm going to begin by using a number line to help. So with a number line, you can see that adding takes us in this direction and subtracting takes us in this direction. So if we look at our first example, we're going to start at minus three and we're going to add eight. So starting at minus three, adding eight, one, two, three, okay, gets us back to zero, doesn't it? Now that's quite crucial because we then need to think about we're actually adding on eight, not three. We need another five, don't we? So where's that going to take us from zero? It's going to take us to, of course, it's going to take us to five, isn't it? So I quite like to, to imagine it myself in sort of a way of chunking what we're adding on. First of all, adding three to get to zero. And then what's the difference between eight and three to add on a remaining five, which takes us to an answer of five. Okay. So you can think about it like that. It might just be a nice way to think about it to get you to the answer quicker. Example two. So let's look at some more. Um, imagine that we're at minus one now and we're subtracting three. Okay. So we're getting more negative, basically. We're subtracting. Um, so one, two, three is taking us to negative four. Um, imagine that we've got, so we're about what we've just done. So we've got a bit more space. Um, imagine this time that we're at negative two and we're going to add on eight. Now we're gonna think about it again like I did last time. We need to add on two to get us to zero. What more do I need to add on to make it eight? I've already added on two. I need an extra six, don't I? It's gonna take us all the way to here, to this six. Okay, so it's six is the answer. Okay, because two plus six is adding on eight until the minus two gets us to six. And the third one is that I'm going to um, begin at two this time, and I'm going to take away seven. Now taking away two, gets us to zero. We need to take away another five then, don't we, to make it seven, and takes us to minus five. Yeah, okay. So just nice mental ways of thinking about it. Example three, now this is where um, you might start to think what's, what's on earth going on here. Um, two plus negative one, you don't always have to have the brackets here. Sometimes it's just written like that. Okay, and um, let's think about this. If it were two plus positive one, right, if we were beginning at two and it's plus positive one, we'd of course be go ahead in this direction ending with three. If we're adding negative one, it's exactly the same as subtracting one. So here's a top tip um, when you've got this. If you have plus and minus next to each other like that, it's just the same as subtraction. It's just two subtract one. So the answer here is one. You can see we've got there. Your turn. Um, have a go at this one then. If we're at three and we're adding subtract four, <laughs> say that again. If we're at three and we're adding negative four, okay, then that's just the same as sometimes it's written as this, okay. And as I've just said, or well, think about what I've just said, what that means, okay. See if you can work out the answer. You may pause the video if you like. Have a go. Okay, maybe you've had a go. Um, so we're starting at three. And I said to you that if we've got plus and minus next to each other like this, it's just the same as three subtract four. So we're going to take away four. One, two, three gets us to zero. One more gets us to minus one. That's subtract four. So the answer there is negative one. Okay. Example four. Um, another one. So this time we're at negative three. We're starting at a negative number and we're adding negative five. Okay. So it's the same thing, as I said, as um, we don't need to have the brackets in there, as adding negative five. And two negative, uh, sorry, um, and, and positive and a negative like this is just the same as subtracting. So it's minus three subtract five. Where do we get to? We keep getting more negative, don't we? Six, seven, I think we're going to end up at negative eight. Negative eight. Okay. Have a go at this one then. You might like to pause the video, have a go first. Um, so it's starting at negative two and adding negative three. Where would we get to? Okay, so it's exactly the same as that. We can remove the brackets if we like. We've got addition and subtraction together, which is the same as 
subtracting. So we've got minus 2, minus 3. We should get minus 5. Okay. And one more. Okay, so now I've talked about how when you've got addition and subtraction next to each other, that, that results in a negative. Because that's the same as subtracting. What about if we've got two negatives next to each other? What do you think happens? Well, you probably guess. It's the same as that. Okay, same signs make a positive. So I've got same sign. Obviously, if I'm adding a, a positive answer, if I'm adding a positive number, sorry, it's always going to be the same as adding. But it's the same as um, subtracting a negative number almost reverses the sign, okay? And um, what you get then is the same as seven plus one, which is equal to eight. Okay, time to have a go yourselves. Have a go at this one then. Using the worked example above, knowing these rules, okay, when we've got two negatives next to each other, it's the same as a positive, okay? Uh, or subtracting a negative number is the same as adding. What do we have here? We've got six subtract, negative three, which is the same as six plus three, which is nine. Okay, so that's the end of the lesson there. I really hope that that was nice and clear and you've got, you've gathered a lot of knowledge and, and uh, an ability from that. And I hope that your future work goes well on this topic. So, you know, let me know if you've enjoyed the, if you enjoyed the lesson, don't forget to subscribe um, and good luck with your work. Have a great day.